Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. Some of you seem to like my last video on recently extinct animals, so today I'll be making a part two. Recent extinctions are a warning sign, as if we don't change the way we live, we may lose some of our most iconic animals. Because of the damage that humans do to the planet, we are currently in a mass extinction event, with nearly 500 species going extinct in the last 100 years. In this video I will be going through some of these species that have recently gone extinct, as well as some species that are just hanging on to existence, as I'll be going through five recently extinct and critical endangered animals. And for our first species we'll be heading to the southern states as we have the ivory-billed woodpecker. These birds were most often sighted in the southern states and were commonly found in dense swampland and open old growth forests. In these areas this bird was primarily an insect eater as it would look for beetles among trees and rotting wood. This woodpecker also ate vegetable matter as well as fruit seeds and nuts. The ivory-billed woodpecker was one of the largest woodpeckers in the world. It could reach a size of around 51 centimeters or 20 inches long. A closely related imperial woodpeckers thought to be the largest woodpecker in the world, but this species is also thought to be extinct. Today this species is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN's list, but the last universally accepted sighting was in Louisiana in 1944. The main reasons behind its decline were heavy logging as well as hunting and egg collection. This completely devastated the population of the ivory-billed woodpeckers and they were thought to be extinct by the mid-1920s. This was until a nesting pair was found in Florida in 1924, but these specimens were were soon shot by local taxidermists. Since 1944 there have been many reported sightings, but in many instances sightings were misidentified pileated woodpeckers. As these birds lived in very remote areas, it's hard to say if there are any left, but to this day millions of dollars have been spent on searches, and unfortunately it looks like there aren't any left. But for our next species we'll be heading over to the Indonesian island of Java, as we have the Javan tiger. The Javan tiger was a distinct subspecies of tiger, which was slightly smaller than its mainland relatives. The Javan tiger was very similar to the Sumatran tiger, but had darker, more numerous black stripes. One of the reasons behind its smaller size is that it was feeding on smaller prey, as the deer and bovine species in Java were a little smaller than they were on the Asian mainland. Despite this, the Javan tiger was still very powerful and was said to be strong enough to break the legs of horses and water buffaloes with its paws. These tigers reached an average size of around 2.5 meters and weighed around the same weight as a gorilla. The Javan tiger was declared extinct in 2003, and the reasons behind its decline were all human related. These tigers were hunted for hundreds of years, with bounties being issued in 1830 and many people living in rural areas considered it to be a plague. The killing of the tigers increased in the beginning of the 20th century, as Java had a population of around 28 million people and it needed to produce more rice. To do this they cleared many forests and constructed rice paddies. In 1938 natural forests covered around 23% of the island, but by 1975 only 8% of the forest remained. As well as habitat loss, these tigers also had to face being poisoned, and one of its most important prey items, the Java Russa, were also lost to disease in many areas, but luckily these deer are still around today. In 1960, the estimated population was around 10 to 12 individuals, but during a period of civil unrest after 1965, armed groups retreated to the animal reserves, where they killed the remaining tigers. There have been a few reported sightings in recent years, but in many cases these sightings have proven to be the Javan leopard, so unfortunately this is another iconic predator that we've driven to extinction. But for our next species will be heading over to China as we have the Chinese paddlefish. This fish was once native to the Yangtze and Yellow River basins in China. It was the only species in its genus, but was one of two living paddlefish species, the other being the famous American paddlefish. This large fish was primarily a freshwater species, but it did spend part of its adult life at sea. Unlike the American paddlefish which is a field to feeder, the Chinese paddlefish was largely piscivorous and preyed on many small to medium sized fish. One of the most shocking things about its extinction is that very very few people have actually heard of it, and this species was one of the largest freshwater fish in the world, reaching an average length of around 3 meters or 9.8 feet long. This species was last seen in 2003 and was declared extinct very recently in 2020. Chinese people had been fishing for this species for years, with annual harvests reaching around 25 tons by the 1970s. Although this fishing had some impact on their numbers, the real nail in the coffin were China's dams. Chinese leaders seem to have a weird obsession with building dams, and these dams don't just affect the wildlife, but affect the people living in the area, as many people are forced out of their homes, and Chinese damming is thought to affect the flow of the Mekong River. This affects the livelihoods of millions of people, and also increases the risk of flooding. These dams stop the Chinese paddlefish from migrating upstream, meaning that they couldn't reproduce. So although this species survived on this planet for hundreds of millions of years, we caused its extinction. Before our next species, we'll be heading over to Africa, as we have the northern white rhinoceros. This rhino is one of two subspecies of the white 
rhinoceros, with the other being the southern white rhinoceros. The species was originally found in the savannas of Central Africa, where it spent most of its life grazing on grasses. To feed on these grasses, it has a very wide mouth, which is how they got their name of white rhino, as it's a mispronunciation of an Afrikaans word, which means wide. Now surprisingly, this species isn't actually extinct, although it might as well be. It's thought to be extinct in the wild, but there are two specimens still alive today. Unfortunately, these two specimens are both female, so this species really does look doomed. The two specimens alive today belong to a zoo in the Czech Republic, but now reside in Kenya. In December 2009, four of these rhinos were transferred from the Czech Republic to Kenya to try and save this species from extinction. It was hoped that if they were kept in their natural environment, this would stimulate them to breed. Although these individuals mated a few times, no rhino calves were born. After four years, one of the males suddenly died from a heart attack, and this left only one male alive. Unfortunately, this male was too old to breed and later died in 2018. Experts are now exploring the possibility of artificial reproduction, and at the moment, it's a race against time. The main reason behind their decline was poaching. Poaching is still a really big problem in Africa today, as the demand for rhino horn and ivory is still high. China and Vietnam are the highest importers of rhino horn, as they're used in traditional medicine. In some cases, they're used to treat fever, cancer, and even hangovers, but they have proven to have no medicinal value. Because of the risk of poaching, the two remaining rhinos are protected around the clock by armed guards. And although there's only a slim chance, hopefully we can see more northern white rhinos in the future. But for our next species, we'll be heading to India, Bangladesh, and Myanmar, as we have the pink-headed duck. This duck was originally found in the plains surrounding the Ganges River and the dense swamps of Myanmar. It was primarily a lowland species and preferred secluded, overgrown still water pools. The pink-headed duck was a diving duck, feeding mainly on insect larvae and crustaceans as well as plant matter. On this diet, it reached an average size of around 43 centimeters long and was famous for its striking pink head. Although it's been feared extinct since the 1950s, there have been many rumored sightings and it's thought that there may be still some existing in the inaccessible swamp regions of northern Myanmar. It's thought that the main reason behind its decline is habitat loss, as there's been many clearance of forests and wetlands for agricultural land. It's thought to have also been affected by the invasive water hyacinth, as these plants can alter wetland habitats. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, these birds were hunted throughout India, and their strange, almost spherical eggs were also collected. But hopefully, as they were such a shy and elusive bird, there may still be some living in the remote areas of Myanmar. But that's about it for this video. There's still plenty more recently extinct animals, so if you know any, let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.